Hi everyone, this is Dr. Amit, your mentor for radiology on the UN Academy platform. So, well, this is an introductory video and I'll start by introducing myself. Uh, so, basically, I have done my MBBS from Ames, New Delhi. And uh, after those amazing five and a half years at this amazing college, at this amazing place, I was faced with the same challenge that many of you must be facing right now and many of you will face in your future that is the mammoth task of PG entrance exams right uh, by God's grace I was able to crack uh, the PG entrance and that's how my stay at Ames New Delhi it got extended and I completed my MD in radio diagnosis from the same place so guys all these years uh, at Ames uh, all these years I had this calling I had this uh, passion uh, for teaching, for helping the students to crack that uh, mammoth task of PG entrance and to help them achieve their dream branch, achieve their dream, uh, dreams specialty, right? Uh, and it is this calling only, it is this uh, excitement for teaching only. That's why I'm sitting here today on this platform and uh, interacting with you all guys and uh, uh, that's what I am fulfilling my dream for teaching radiology to the PG aspirants to help all of you guys to try my best to help all of you guys to crack the PG entrance exams. Okay, so uh, that's enough about myself. Now let's talk about the uh, subject that I absolutely adore that is radiology and uh, I love teaching radiology, right? I love teaching radiology. So uh, I'll be basically I'll be talking about just four points. So the I'll start with the first point and it's a very important point that is the fundamentals. Fundamentals means the basic concepts. So guys when we talk about our 19 subjects in the PG entrance exams right in the medical curriculum in our curriculum there are 19 subjects. So all of these subjects will have some basic concepts some fundamental concepts right. For example, for radiology, these fundamentals will include something like uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of various modalities. Okay, when is this modality used? When is the other modality used? When do we prefer one modality over the other? How does a specific pathology, what is the characteristic appearance of that pathology on an X-ray or on a CT scan or MRI and so on and so forth. Okay, so these are the basic concepts about uh, radiology and such basics they exist for all of the 19 subjects right in my classes in our discussions we will always be always be focusing on these basic concepts why why is that so important the thing is guys when we talk about PG entrance exams I want you to try and achieve a decent score a good enough score means like a 70 to 80 percent score in all of the subjects rather than scoring a hundred percent in one of the subjects or in only my subject you should try to get a 70 to 80 percent in all of the subjects all of the 19 subjects why is that so the thing is guys if you get a hundred percent in radiology okay if you get a hundred percent marks in radiology i'll be very happy right i'll be very happy but the truth is the fact is that to get that 100 percent you will have to compromise on some other subject guys be it ent be it ophthal be it psm or some other subject that could have been more scoring that could have been more fruitful to you rather than scoring a hundred percent in one subject only right so my point is that when we get a good rank okay when we get a good rank in the PG entrance, it is not because we have cracked radiology. No, it is because we have done a well enough job, a good enough job in all the 19 subjects. Okay, so what the figure that I use is target should be 70 to 80 percent, 70 to 80 percent marks in all of the subjects. Right. So guys, this is a very important thing. Right now we are in a preparation phase okay we are in a preparation phase right now we don't get to pick our favorite okay right now we don't we should not have any favorites right now our focus should be equal importance to all the 19 subjects because only if I score 
well enough good enough if i prepare good enough all the subjects only then i am assured a good rank okay so why are these where are these fundamentals important the point is that guys these are the fundamentals if you just these basic concepts if we know we are going to get the bulk out of that 70 to 80% correct okay so that is how these basic concepts help us and these are not difficult to uh, mug up they are not difficult to know they are not difficult to understand okay the only problem that we do is we keep filling our brains with too much unnecessary information right it is not necessary right now i am saying every information medical stream is like uh, it's an unending ocean right so there is an information out there in the world there is important information but we have to understand that for now what is important for us okay and that essentially is the role of our, us like uh, of uh, the tutors that we have to tell us we have to tell you where to stop this is what we need to know and that's it okay so that is the importance of the fundamentals or the basic concepts that if we are able to crack those basic concepts we are able to get the bulk out of that 70 to 80 percent correct and that's all we need for a good pg rank okay and guys once once we crack that pg entrance once we get that pg rank that is when we pick our favorite okay like uh, i am a radiologist okay i have to love radiology i and i do okay but right now when we are preparing we do not get to uh, you know pick our favorites we do not get to love radiology or one subject only over the others no right now everything is same everything is equally important for us all the 19 subjects once we get a good rank once we get a great rank that's when we pick our favorite that's when we pick our dream branch okay and that's when we go for it okay uh next next i want to talk more about radiology uh why i love radiology okay why i love this subject why this specialty is so close to my heart so i hope you uh, you people may have watched this movie that is munna bhai mbbs sanjay dat uh, starred in that movie it was a very uh, feel good movie so there is this dialogue in that movie uh, that goes like he says that uh, Uh, मुझे पूरा डॉक्टर बनना है मुझे मुझे आधा अधूरा डॉक्टर नहीं बनना ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि पेट के डॉक्टर को ये नहीं पता है कि दिमाग में क्या हो रहा है एंड वाइस वर्सा सो राइट सो बीइंग अ रेडियोलॉजिस्ट दैट्स द फीलिंग दैट आई गेट एवरी डे इन माय प्रैक्टिस राइट सो वेन यू आर अ रेडियोलॉजिस्ट गाइज यू आर गोइंग टू इंट्रैक्ट विद क्लिनिशियंस फ्रॉम ऑल स्पेशलिटीज यू आर गोइंग टू इंट्रैक्ट विद न्यूरो सर्जन यू आर गोइंग टू इंट्रैक्ट विद ऑब्सेट्रीशियन विद अ पिडेट्रीशियन विद अ पैथोलॉजिस्ट एवरी okay you get to see patients with so much variety of pathologies with uh, you see images from head to toe guys you see so many modalities so all of these things okay it never gets monotonous it never gets monotonous okay that's what i love about radiology and in the present scenario in the modern era imaging has reached such great heights now that it is at the core of the medical practice today it is at the core of patient management okay like if we uh, uh, practically speaking like of all the patients who visit hospitals for various different reasons right out of all those patients i would say if not a 100% at least a 99% of the patients must be having some imaging done on them S- uh, some modality it it may be an x ray it may be an ultrasound ct mr it could be anything some kind of an imaging they must be having with them okay so that is the importance of imaging today that is the importance of radiology today in today's scenario the diagnosis in uh, today's medical practice is heavily dependent on imaging right it is heavily dependent on imaging so that is why knowing those basic concepts of radiology even if in the future you do not uh, go on to become a radiologist but you become a surgeon or other clinician those basic concepts will still be a uh, very important thing for you and they will come in handy in your practice as well okay so uh, that is the pretty much that is the role the first two points that we have discussed is the fundamentals and the, today the role of radiology and 
that is the important point of radiology today in our practice okay one more thing it is radiology is no longer only about diagnosis okay there is a whole separate branch of radiology that is the interventional radiology that is having a big boom today right it is coming up in a big way and in this interventional radiology we actually go and treat the patient we do angioplasties we do a lot of vascular and non vascular procedures so there is this entire sub branch sub specialty of radiology that is coming up today okay so this much about what is uh, the importance of radiology in practice that is in real life now the next two points the next two points i want to talk about why we are sitting here why we are sitting on the unacademy platform what we are trying to do okay so we are basically we are trying to do we are trying to crack the entrance exams right so from the entrance exam point of view why radiology has become so important the first point is image based questions guys when i sat for my pg entrance exam in 2014 okay at that time the images uh, were not even a reality the image based questions they were not a reality nobody had even thought of it okay in my time uh, when i prepared radiology for pg entrance for me radiology was equal to 10000 signs names of 10000 signs and that is it for radiology that's all i prepared that's all i know okay but over these 5 years what has happened is there has been a drastic shift of uh, the questions that are being asked from radiology because of these image based questions the whole subject of radiology today it has been conceptualized for us pg aspirants okay it has become more conceptual it has become it makes more sense now it's, it's as simple as that earlier i uh, when i used to prepare i didn't know what sign is why no i don't know i am i am just mugging it up but today because of these image based questions because of these integrated questions clinical uh, scenario questions radiology we read it in a much more conceptual manner okay so these image based questions they have uh, they've changed the way radiology is taught and learned today okay so this is not to say that i am so old okay uh, actually guys i am not that old the thing is that within these 5 years the pattern has shifted so drastically right the pattern has shifted so drastically and so quickly okay now the thing is i would say that this shift is for the better this change is for the better of all okay this change has made the exam per se much more conceptual much more uh, clinically relevant okay and that is why radiology teaching and learning both today have become even more interesting because today we when we read radiology when we discuss radiology in our sessions also we will see there will be so many images that we will be seeing okay there will be unending we will see so many images that you will be uh, satisfied okay and uh, those of you who still even now they believe that radiology is all black and white uh, let me assure you you attend my lectures it won't be just black and white okay I, there are so many modalities today that have come up in radiology they have colors also and all those colors will be there when we discuss radiology okay the fourth point and the last point i want to discuss about radiology is actually the most important for central institute exams like aims pgi jipmer most important what these exams they love to ask you they just love to ask you integrated questions integrated questions means the question it has it is not asked from a single subject there is a part from pathology there is a part from medicine they have given a chest x ray also and then you have to integrate all the findings all the history all the uh, imaging findings and then they are asking you some question about the management or the treatment or the diagnosis or whatever okay so this integrated discussion this integrated questions they can be cracked only when we discuss the pathology in an integrated manner we when we discuss a pathology we are going to discuss its anatomy its relevant anatomy its physiology its pathology medicine point of view surgical point of view imaging point of view and then we are going to discuss the okay that is how we are going to be able to crack this questions and that is going to be again a important part of our lecture series of our discussions that we try to integrate things now okay 
not just the imaging part we also need to understand the clinical part and again back to the first point all these integrated discussions are going to are just going to do one thing they are going to highlight the basic concepts in all of the all of the subjects they are going to integrate the fundamentals of all the subjects into one class into one place that is why we will be able to use these basic concepts use this integration in the exam and we are going to be able to crack that entrance exam okay so this is basically what i wanted to talk about and uh, basically to give you an overview of how we are going to deal with radiology how we are going to learn radiology how we are going to test radiology and how we are going to see all the beautiful images that are there in radiology okay so uh, before i end this session i just want to make sure that you people know how to get all of this so it's pretty simple actually all you have to do is uh, you have to search for the an academy app on your uh, app store and install the app and as soon as you install the app you can in the app you can uh, select your goal and i hope we all remember there is only one most important goal right now in the uh, in our life the thing is neat pg okay we are going to crack the pg entrance exam so when we select our goal in the app that is neat pg you can go to the plus an academy plus tab and you can get the subscription by clicking on this green button okay and uh, you can click on this green button and get the subscription okay and uh, this is the final page you will be directed to this uh, payment page and uh, at the end of the uh, at the last step of payment what you can do is you can use this code this is the code uh, this is my code dr amit life by using this code you yourself you get a good discount and uh, by using this code you also promote me and inspire me and motivate me to do more teaching to do more things okay so you can use this code dr amit life and if you guys if you like this video please spread the word please if you have not subscribed to this channel already please do subscribe it like and share in this video and most most importantly please give me your feedback in the comment section if you want any changes any specific topic that has to be covered in radiology any specific way you want the radiology lectures to be taught i am here i am here listening and i will definitely implement your ideas your suggestions in my discussions okay uh, and uh, obviously guys don't you worry we have your back right so let's crack it okay uh, so i'll end the video here please uh, remember to use the code dr amit life on your next an academy subscription see you guys soon keep learning best of luck